Hi, uh, can I get a bit of your time? Yeah, sure. So, um, I just had a friend that just passed away. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks. Um, how are you coping? I don't know how to cope. Well, I'm sure they probably meant a lot to you. Was it one of your really close friends? I'm sure it's really hard. I know it's really difficult to stay positive during this time, but there's lots of people you can talk to. And do you have like good friends and family who can maybe try and help support you? Well, I don't really have contact with them, so uh, I felt like the best way was to talk to someone I didn't know. Um, I don't know how to grieve. I don't know how to cope. It, it just like hurts. I mean, I don't understand like everything that you're going through, but I'm definitely here for you and it's hard. I know there's lots of groups out there to talk and I'm, I'm really happy that you sat down today to talk. Thank and I know it helps sometimes to get it out there and during this time, like if you can be as strong as possible and keep the really good memories of them close to you, because that will help. Thank you. As much as possible and trying to focus on all the good things they brought to your life as much as possible. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. Hi, excuse me. Uh, can I get a bit of your time? Uh, you want to uh, can I Can I get a bit of your time? Yeah, sure. Um, so, my friend passed away recently and I'm just looking for some advice I can get. Uh, what kind of advice are you looking for? Do you have any friends you can talk to or family you can go to? Not much. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank um, you. Did you ever thought about speaking to someone professionally or like a distress line or something like that? Maybe I should do that. Yeah? Yeah. I don't mind listening to what you have to say, but I can also look for some resources for you if you want. If I text you, you're gonna get my number and you can talk to me anytime you want. Alright. Hi. Hi. Um, can I get a bit of your time? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I lost a friend of mine recently mm. and uh, I'm just asking for some help, advice. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. When? Do you mind me asking when? Uh, recently, like a month ago. Yeah, oh my gosh, that must be so hard. And you guys were close? I'm very close, yeah. Uh, do you have any family or friends in the area that you've been talking to? Uh, I don't have many. I don't have much contact with them. With your family? Not at all. Okay, well, I mean, the first step, honestly, is talking about it. So I'm glad that you approached me today because I think that is one of the most important things is being open about it. And I know that loss can be one of the hardest things in the entire world. It really can. And all I can say is it's, it's okay to feel the way that you're feeling right now. I think it's so important to absolutely cherish all of those memories with him. You know, and I think that it hurts now, but over time it will start to hurt less and less. And I, I know that that seems ridiculous right now, like that is not going to happen, but I promise, I promise that eventually you will think of those memories and they are going to be like little tiny pieces of happiness that you get to hold on to forever. And that is so special. You have to know that. Thank you so much. Yeah, it just helped me a lot. Thank you. I'm really glad. Honestly, I just, I think it's important to be kind to one another, especially in a time like this. And like the most important thing that we can do is connect with each other in whatever way. So I'm happy to help. I've been in her shoes before and I understand how difficult it can be to lose a friend and a close loved one and she was saying how she didn't have many friends and family around her so I was happy to be a person she could confide in for the day.